Hi guys, welcome back to Debris Day. Today in Debris Day, it's a new project. Today we're going to start making Damascus in preparation for making our butterfly knives. Let's go guys. So as you can probably remember and see from my previous videos, I've made or attempted to make Damascus for the last number of months and I've had some successes and some failures. So we've learned that we can make a thin bar, um, is Damascus on the end. Uh, we've learned that sometimes uh, the bars split um, and that obviously is delamination and that's because of cleanliness. And we also learned that sometimes if you jump straight into a power hammer, it squishes it to the side. So that's not very good. Um, if you can remember a while back, we made this prototype knife. Um, and since then, I've made some knives for my friends at my martial arts. Um, and I've always wanted to start getting into knife making and into blade making. Um, what I'd like to do is try and take this blade, make some brand new Damascus and turn Damascus into these blades. I want to make a pair of them for me. So I've learned a lot. I've made about four or five pairs of these now and I've learned an awful lot about making knives. So here's the plan. Today I'm going to try and cut out some of the uh, metal ready for the Damascus making. I'm going to stack it, I'm going to do all the welding on the edge and I'm going to forge it out into one blade. I'm going to start with one blade only. Um, if that goes well then I'll draw it out and then I'll start working on the second process which is to turn it into a knife. First and foremost let's get our steel, let's mark it out and then let's get it cut using the angle grinder. Let's get it welded together and then let's get it on the power hammer. Let's go. So here's the plan, here's the knife. Uh, what I've done I've measured out on the 15N20 the rough length of the blade. Now bear in mind we're going to lose some of this uh, length when we get forge scale on there, but I think it's going to be the right sort of length. So I've measured out uh, three sets long and two wide. Now this is on the 15N20. I've got the uh, EM42 underneath exactly the same. I'll just show you that. The EM42 is underneath. That's got exactly the same pattern. What I'm thinking is, if I've got two, four, six, I've got 12 layers, um, I don't know if that's gonna be enough to make one blade or two blades. So we've got to start somewhere and you only uh, work things out by trying them. And it may, this may be a failure, but I don't know. I'm gonna take my time and do it properly. I'm not trying to change the world, I'm trying to make one piece of Damascus. So I'm gonna make a 12 layer billet um, and then I'm gonna forge it. So I'm gonna go, 15N20, EM42, 15N20, EM42, and stack them up one by one. Cut them out, clean them, use acetone before I stack them, stack them, weld them, and get that ready. I also found in the garden a piece of rebar. So I'm gonna use this rebar to hold onto the billet rather than using the tongs, etc. so I have more control over it. The other thing I've learnt, the other thing I learned which I wanna to try today is when you've heated it up to forge welding temperature, hit it gently with a hammer and do that three times prior to touching the, the power hammer. So I'm gonna use a normal hammer, use my anvil, um, get it flat, then I'll move on to the power hammer. And then once I've got that really homogenized as one piece of metal, then I will draw it out. And I can use my other dies today to try and draw it out as well. So quite a long day. If I can get the Damascus made today, I'll be really happy. Let's go. Here's the update guys, we've cut the 15N20 and EN42. We've cut a piece of the rebar off. These are all uh, roughly the same size. What we're gonna do is jump onto our belt grinder here and we're gonna clean them all off, all the faces, all the edges, make sure they're nice and neat and that they stack correctly. And then I'm gonna acetone them and clean them all off, stack them and then hold them together with a clamp and then weld them. But let's get cleaning first. Okay, just finished cleaning up all of the uh, the metal sheets, the EM42 and 1520. Uh, so they look like this. Now I used the belt sander and I also used um, a flap disc from an angle grinder. What I've now got to do is get some acetone and give them a really good clean. Sit them on here so they're they're nice and clean and stack. Because as I understand it, good Damascus is based on clean metal, so no contaminations on this. So I'm wearing black rubber gloves. I'm going to clean them with the acetone. Pop them on here. Then I'm going to stack them, and then I'm going to weld them. Always a step behind. Just like I'm going blind. Ever after on the loose, I will never get to choose. Nowhere else to go. Nothing more to show. I never thought it'd come to this. Uh. Okay. 
so I'm going to run a bead down here, two beads down there, and I'll repeat it on the other side. Okay, good progress so far. Let's uh, let's talk about the updates. So, as you saw, I just did the welding. Um, I've welded the bar onto the end. Um, as we are at the moment, our bar's ready to go. So there's all of our steel, um, tightly bound together. A couple of weld beads along here, getting better at welding. Um, put a big weld bead on the end here. Um, that's now ready, God, that's heavy. <laughs> that's now ready um, to start forging. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a quick break and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to turn the forge on over there, which you guys know. But then I'm going to heat it, put some flux onto it, some borax. And I'm going to hit it with a hammer. I'm going to do that three times to the forge, to the anvil, forge, anvil three times. And once that's set, and I'll turn it on its side and hit it on the other side to make sure it doesn't split, then I'm going to go onto Percy and give it a flatten and try and stretch it out. That's the goal anyway. Wowzers, that was hard work. So to give you an idea of time, that probably took me about an hour to stretch out that piece of Damascus. Um, as you probably saw through the video, I changed the die. So I've got square dies on here at the moment. See those? Square die there, and a square die there and there. I changed to the rounding dies. So these are the dies for drawing out. Um, first time I've used them, and they came with the power hammer. And what it does is when you put your metal across here, it pushes the force down, so there's a smaller space which stretches the metal out. What that enabled me to do was to stretch out this bar this long. And what I kept doing was comparing it against my template. God, that's hot. <laughs> I was comparing it against my template here for length. Um, I know it's quite thick at the moment. Um, it's probably too thick, to be honest with you, but do you know what? As a first bar of Damascus that I've made all by myself, I'm really chuffed with that. Now I didn't do any twists, I didn't do any fold overs or anything fancy, I want to start with basic Damascus. If this works, then the next knife that I'll make, I will do a fold, so this is only 12 layers, then make it 24, I might even do two folds depending on how it goes. I've learned an awful lot today. So that's now going to cool down guys. Once it's cooled down, um, we'll grind it back and then next week we'll start cutting it out into the shape of the knife. Anyway guys, hopefully that's been useful for you, certainly been useful for me. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to Dubri's Day, and I'll see you next week. Cheers then. Bye.